previously on Martin Mystery. You will be investigating a series of occurrences in an area of New Mexico in the American desert. <coughs> Seems people are waking up to find they are missing minor body parts. Yep, your teeth are definitely gone. I think we're dealing with a whole tribe of radioactive dream demons. Oh, what that? Substance unknown. Contains traces of human DNA. Oh, no, it can't be. I hope this day will never come. You will not leave here. Let them go. Billy. His name is not Billy. His name is Gandar. I'm not like you. You were once our great leader. The cold has a neutralizing effect on me. Billy? Oh. He's still on the ship. They came from outer space, part two. Slimy goofball just escaped with Billy. Java no believe either. What goofball? I'll give you a hint. If you look it up in the dictionary, you'll see a picture of Martin. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> That's so funny, I forgot to laugh. Oh, well, look on the bright side. At least we've got these two. Of course, considering they're all freezy freaky, I don't know what good they're gonna do us. <sighs> I guess we better call Mom. Go ahead, Agent Mystery. We just finished a battle with some major extraterrestrial baddies. We got two of them, but one got away with Billy. Oh, dear. And get this. They kept calling him Ganthar. Pretty weird, huh? Uh, come back to the center immediately. Huh? There's some things you need to know. We kept Billy's past a secret for as long as we could. You see, he used to be known as Ganthar. He was the leader of a very dangerous group of rogue aliens. No way! Way. Billy, I mean Ganthar, was legendary for being the most savage and powerful of all the aliens. Talk about not knowing someone. Billy's closet has more skeletons than a graveyard. Funny you should mention his closet. Wow, Billy's room! Oh, besides the giant picture of me, it looks pretty normal. On second thought, maybe normal isn't the right word. Huh? What all this? It looks like some kind of galaxy, uh, filled with a whole bunch of ugly brown planets. Those are the planets conquered by Ganthar's army. What do you mean by conquered? After they took the planets over, they completely stripped them of their resources, destroying all life in the process. Then they moved on to the next. So, it's the classical definition of conquered. Indeed. So that's why the invaders are here. They're going to destroy Earth. They're going to try. Uh, hey, why is that planet blue? That's where Billy decided he'd had enough. All those years of destroying planets took its toll. One day, he just snuck away from his army. So how did Billy end up working for the center? No doubt you've heard the stories of Area 51 near Roswell, New Mexico. You mean that old weather balloon that fell to Earth? That wasn't a weather balloon. <gasps> That was Billy. Sheesh, aggressive much? But I don't get it. Billy is the exact opposite of that alien and the aliens we captured. That's what Billy wanted. When he joined the Center's protection program, he used his shape-shifting abilities to create the new Billy that you all know. But does he still have any of his old powers? Uh, like, can he blast lasers from his eyes? Do his fingernails shoot out like darts? Oh, that would be so uh -huh. cool. He still has some powers, but he's vowed never to use them. He's afraid if he does, he'll become evil once again. <gasps> but Billy could, right? Now that he's been captured by these aliens, there's no telling what might happen. Help the traitor Ganthar. If you want him, you will return those that you have captured. Bring them to me, or Ganthar will pay the price. That is acceptable. Acceptable? But, but how do we know Billy's safe? He is safe. <laughs> if you disobey my instructions, I will take great pleasure in destroying him. We can't trust those deep space dirtbags. We gotta free Billy with a commando raid ASAP. But they'll never see it coming. No, Martin. I won't risk having any more of my agents captured. Huh. We'll do exactly as he says. We need Billy back safely. He's our only hope to stop the invasion. Isn't there a chance that the longer he's with the aliens, the more likely he'll return to being Ganthar? Let's try not to think about that. Huh. 
Oh, I hate prisoner exchanges. I mean, why are we meeting in the desert? Oh, what if these dudes try and pull a fast one? Why would Mom want to go along with this? She had no choice. The alien has Billy. Well, I don't like it. <laughs> well, well, well. Look who's thawing out. Keep it up, boys, and I'll crank up the AC in your little containment chamber faster than you can say frostbite. <laughs> Hey, Mom. I'm afraid I have some bad news. The exchange was kind of a failure. Kind of a failure? More like a total disaster. The aliens still have Billy and our prisoner popsicles got away. Well, I have worse news. A large alien ship is rapidly approaching our solar system. Without Billy, Earth is in big trouble. Come back to the center and I'll give you a full briefing. Nice job playing <sighs> hero back there. Oh, rub it in, why don't you? As if I don't feel bad enough about letting Billy down. Hey, Billy's my friend, too, but we have bigger things to worry about. In case you've forgotten, the whole world's in jeopardy. Maybe not. Hey, it's a long shot, but I might be able to contact Billy with the U-Watch. If I can, he'll know just what to do. Uh, Billy! Uh, Billy, can you hear me? My, is that you? Yeah. Are you okay? I'm fine. Especially since you still want to speak to me. Why wouldn't I? Well, after you found out about who I was, I didn't think you'd still like me. Uh, that's all in the past. Right now, we need your help in beating these aliens. Where are you, Billy? Coordinates are 24.32 space 2994. These aliens are the scouts. They've set up a beacon to summon the mothership. If the mothership lands, Earth is doomed. What happened? I don't know, but we're not going back to the center. Come on, there's no time to lose. Let's find that transmission beacon. Not yet. Let's find Billy first. Listen, Martin, our first priority is to interrupt their transmission to the mothership. My priority is to save our friend. <sighs> That's Billy's voice. He must have escaped, and he sounds like he's in trouble. I'm going on record to say 
this is a really bad idea. Uh, of course, that's never stopped me before. Uh. Hang on, we're on our way! Uh, you really should have picked a better place to escape to. He's up there! Scorpions are the most venomous creatures in the desert. No time for big chickens. Must save Billy. You're right, John. Hideous insects chock full of paralyzing poison are nothing compared to our problems. Say, I told you so. I told you so! <sighs> Thanks. I feel much better now. I guess blowing up the transmitter would have been a pretty good birthday present for you, huh? <gasps> you remembered my birthday? Of course. We would never forget a friend's birthday, would we? No way. Happy birthday, Billy. I second the motion. <laughs> Thanks. You guys are the best friends ever. Okay, I hate to rain on this warm, fuzzy moment. But if we don't stop these aliens, there won't be any more birthdays ever. Billy, where's the transmission beacon? It's in the bridge. They used radiation to power it up to contact the mothership. There are thousands of warriors on board, ready to set up their colony. And then? They'll take the Earth's resources. Minerals, trees, water, everything. Were you really the leader of these savages? I did a lot of things that I'm not proud of, Martin. But I've changed. We know you have. Billy, good. Gotta be a way out of here. Hey, maybe we can smash through the window. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, uh, completely shatterproof. <laughs> so I see. <laughs> you gotta check this out. There's no way Earth can fight that thing. We're doomed. Unless Billy becomes Ganthar and uses his powers. I... I can't do it. Um, but you were the most powerful alien of them all. You could totally take these guys. What if I change and decide to stay evil? I could end up like the others. I don't ever want to be that bad again. <laughs> it's okay, Billy. We'll uh, find another way. Uh, we always do. Yeah, we'll think of something. <laughs> Destroyed! <laughs> 
something tells me now would not be the time for any sudden movements. <laughs> Showing them who's the boss. Save the world. I can't believe he's gone. I can't quite wrap my noggin around it either. <sighs> it seems just like yesterday the little guy was popping up at inopportune moments, scaring the snot out of us on missions. Billy, hero. Hey, dudes. <laughs> I thought we'd never see you again. How'd you do it? I just aimed for the mothership's power source, and that was it. It was the only way to save the planet. I'm just thankful that eject button worked. Billy Hurt? Well, I'm a little sorry from transforming into Ganfar. As I'm sure you all know, morphine's a killer on the lower lumbar. Then you'll be happy to see this. It's a chip we developed that will make it impossible for you to ever change back. Yeah, and it was all my idea. Hmm. What's wrong, Billy? Uh, nothing. It's a great gift, but... But I don't need it. I faced my dark side and I survived. I'll never change back again. I'm proud of you, Billy. Happy birthday. <laughs> hey, what if we gave the chip to Martin? Maybe it could keep him from being such a goof all the time. Hey! Mm, nope, I don't think it's powerful enough for that. <laughs> What's wilder than wild thorn buddies in the wild? I don't know. Wedgies in the wild, of course. <laughs> Look at a feature length helping of wild wedgie fun thornberry style. The wild thornberry's movie Saturday at four in three headed outside. <laughs> 